Oh, I hate this stuff with the dogs. It's awful. Why did I listen to the hut owner? I should have been on the upper road, the higher detour. Because from here. Kuchinci! Ewada Tevilla! No, I think it's friendly. I mean, if it's completely bad weather, this is a nice shelter. This is Peak Dubriwa. Let's see if there is anybody here. So, I spent a very nice and relaxing evening. It hurt there my... Ah? Da, da, da! Spoko! Spoko, spoko, dobre! Ništo, ništo! So, yeah, the hut owner gave me an idea where to take the shortcut. But I wanna go up. So, yeah, it was a very relaxing evening. I actually... Mm, Slept like eight, nine hours. Pretty good. I feel refreshed because today we're gonna go over there. Hopefully, this is peak Ambaritz. And from there we can take it on the ridge. night was like to sleep here was like 35 leva and um, the conditions were pretty good I had a like a nice uh, bathroom in my room I was completely alone because it was Tuesday night of course and then um, the, the meals were all right they had like a full menu of different soups you know barbecues and stuff so it's kind of okay the 35 level is a bit pricey for Bulgarian hut but it's almost like a hotel condition so I guess that's reasonable and my most important goal was to feel refreshed and ready to go so From here I'll take it to Hut Dubriwa, which is uh, over there on the main ridge. Uh, it's gonna be like 6-7 kilometers with like uh, 300 meters of a positive denivelation. And from there I'm gonna refill my uh, water bottle. I have two water bottles and uh, take it up the main ridge. If everything is fine, if the weather is good, I'm expecting the winds to pick up again at uh, noon so right now it's 8.30 I got a little late but the toner <laughs> fell asleep and he couldn't he couldn't wake up on time I told him that I wanna grab breakfast at 7.30 I went down to the dining room at 7 he was sleeping <laughs> so I did like morning routines I drank water you know, bathroom, toilet stuff, and then 7.30 I'm back down and he's still sleeping, so I woke him up and um, he started preparing my breakfast, but he was really, <laughs> really slow. Anyway, funny stories like the, the other uh, hut owner told me that here there are uh, wild cats and one of the wild cats beat up one of the cats at the hut and unfortunately the cat of the hut didn't make it so that's kind of sad but anyway 
I will speed up from here because I wanna go as quick as possible to Hut Dubriwa. Let's go! Okay, guess what? We are gonna cross cows again and I hear a dog barking, so here we go again. Nyama, nyama, nyama. Nah, it's too muddy. Well, where to take it? It should be here. Nyama, nyama. Oh, f I hate this stuff with the dogs. It's awful. Why did I listen to the hut owner? I should have been on the upper road, the higher detour, because from here. Kuchinci! Hey, what that video? No, I think it's friendly. I think it's friendly. Hey, Kujik, Kak si be? Hey, what that video? Hey, what that video? Ti da ne si na dermenka kuchitu? Na hija dermenka li si ti? Na hija dermenka. Hajde, hey, what? Hubavu kuchi. Hubavu kuchi. Bravo na tebe. Hubavu kuchi. Hajde, daj da mi napres kravite. Njama, stiga, stiga. Hubavu kuchi. Okay, I think this dog is friendly. But where to go here? Damn! Cows. Какво става кучинци? Много добро кучи. Много добро кучи. He's a good boy. Damn! Cows. Okay, my friend. I don't need this. I need luck with like the stepping stones over there. No, to the left somebody put like some stuff. Eh, this is what you get with all the animals. Eh. Uh, okay. Point taken. Don't trust the old hut owner. He sent me through the crowd of cows. Befriending a dog. Okay, this is my this might be the shortcut, <laughs> but I didn't like it. You know, barking dog first thing in the morning after yesterday's fight with the other dogs. No, not fun, but anyway, at least I'm on the shortcut and I have a swarm of flies again with me. Let's go.
Yeah, so the other road comes from here. I took the supposedly shortcut. If you ask me, it doesn't worth it. I'm so glad I didn't uh, do this yesterday in the late afternoon or evening. I was tired and this steep climb would feel like Everest. So no. Now I'm refreshed. I can do it from here up to Hat Dubriwa. There is a even section not that steep but most of it is a climb and from Dubriwa up to peak Ambarica all of it is a climb it's like steep climb up to peak Ambarica so from Hadermenka up to uh, peak Ambarica it's gonna be like eight, between seven and nine hundred vertical meters of a climb. So I'm glad I'm refreshed. No matter that I'm slow. Day three. <laughs> After more than 60 kilometers. Right? For days one and two all together. Okay, let's go up.
so here the green mark goes down to the south to the village Ignatovo. Up the red mark continues to Dubriwa. The international E3 road ride. This might be a shortcut, I see the signs over there, but the GPS says stay on the road, I'll stay on the road. I can be faster on the road and uh, I'm expecting a big climb in front of me as I said, so maybe here I can be a bit faster, even if it's uh, a little bit longer or uh, here's a bit of down climb and then I have to compensate climbing it up. Uh, for me it's uh, much easier to speed up on this uh, terrain. It's just a road over there, you know, it's a path. So yeah, it might be shorter, but in terms of time I have noticed that uh, pretty much the easier way is the same amount of time or even better. It's faster because you can do it fast. There's the other one. Here we are under the shade.
hat der Menge. Forty five minutes ago. This is my favorite combination of heat, cold wind and swarm of flies. I love it. Not. Vision Peak Yumruka above Hatejo Kavuadan Koziastena and Hadderminga. Thank you. 
So there was a path to the left at the last junction that uh, was going on top of the peak Gerdak Tepe, but it's just a 1,700 meters peak on the way. I don't want to spend that extra effort to climb 100 meters just for an extra view. I'd better speed up to Hadubriwa and push on to the main ridge. The views are gonna be spectacular and the sooner I get there the less uh, strong wind and clouds I'm gonna witness so and endure. So let's go. This is the mountain Sredna Gora. <clears throat> we see it all the time. It's right there. It's about this elevation high at the most, 1,500. Uh, 1, but uh, it's a nice mountain and I'm leaving some of these lower mountains for later in the summer when it becomes extremely hot here in the open ridges over there in the forest is perfectly fine so keep in mind early summer and longer days sometimes are much better for uh, the open uh, open ridges and stuff but always double check with the snow conditions right now here in central Balkan there is no snow in Riwa mountain there is uh, some snow here and there in Pirin Mountain, June 21st today. In Pirin Mountain there is still plenty of snow. So it's always a question of um, ups and downs, you know. Today is the longest day of the, of the year and I'm uh, doing this uh, <clears throat> nice and long uh, hike up the main and for me most beautiful ridge of Stara Ponina. Over there, this is Peak Ambarica. I have this shelter on my uh, GPS. It says that there is running water. I'm not gonna spend the time to check it, but that's a valuable info. Or we might go and check it out. I mean, if it's completely bad weather, this is a nice shelter. It's nasty, but it's okay. It's a shelter and it can easily fit like many, many people. If you have a sleeping bag or something, it's perfectly fine. Okay, dear people, please keep uh, in this renovated uh, shelter keep everything clean. Don't break, don't uh, ruin, keep it clean so it can be a nice shelter for you and for these that are coming here after you. So yeah, I put it on 
spike. Okay. Oh, and that's the running water. Nice, let's go. I had to learn how to do this with one hand, you know. It's not easy, but it's doable, apparently. I believe I'm gonna get faster and faster. Now the, the waist belt is much worse. There is a little shelter <clears throat> on top of um, Baritza Peak, literally like uh, pff, five, six square meters of a metal construction one room house. Hopefully, we're gonna see it a bit later. Another victim, what happened here? Like on the flat. 19 years old Buriana passed away in February 1980. Well, I have done uh, the next section, the Alpine Ridge, Dubriwa Botev, in winter conditions. It's pure alpinism, so without crampons and ice axe and uh, plenty of experience, don't do it during the winter.
Okay, so from here, the green mark goes down to the city of Sopot. And the red mark goes to Hadubriwa, which I want to go to. As you can see, it's uh, extremely muddy because of all of these animals and uh, SUVs driving here. Well, hey, guess what? Supposedly, in Central Park, uh, in uh, the National Park Central Balkan, there should be no vehicles and no domestic animals. But who cares?
Uh, I think this is Levurda Wild uh, garlic or wild onion I guess you need some uh, tools to get it out And I'm uh, literally a few hundred uh, horizontal meters of um, away from uh, Hrdu Briwa. I'm uh, here, pretty much. I'm really glad that uh, I didn't do this uh, yesterday in the evening because it was uh, two hours and ten minutes for uh, nine kilometers of a distance. Though there is no like huge denivelation. Oh, still 520 meters positive denivelation and 250 uh, meters of negative. So I'm planning to stay at Hut Dubriwa literally for five minutes. Clouds are already gathering up at Pikambaritsa. I wanna woohoo. That's why we always wear uh, high like tourist boots, trekking boots. Okay, so I wanna push up to Hatambarit. Guess who's here? My friends, the doggies. <sighs> At least the dogs that are guarding the huts are tied up most of the time. I'm not planning to get inside of the hut. I'm just gonna refill my water bottles because uh, there is no water on the main ridge until my final destination of uh, uh, Shelter Botev. So let's go and refill. As you can see, it's almost like a hotel, it's huge. Yeah, I just want to get water. So my GPS says that the water is down here. Well, I'll just go and ask at the hut, you know. This is Peak Dubriwa. Let's see if there is anybody here. Ah, there is somebody. Turisti, 